Have you been without power for a worryingly long time now? Are you wondering how long your refrigerator will stay cold without power before all your perishables start perishing? Most refrigerators last for about 4 to 6 hours without power before returning to room temperature. However, this range depends on a number of factors. You need to consider them to know how long your refrigerator will stay without power. In this video, we will highlight these factors. We will also give you some tips to help you maximize a power loss to your advantage. Let's dive in. 1. Does your refrigerator have good insulation? Is your refrigerator one of the new models that are being produced, or is it an older model? Older refrigerator models don't have as much insulation when compared to modern-day refrigerators. This is definitely one thing you need to consider to know how long your foods will last in the refrigerator without power. The amount of insulation that a refrigerator has is very crucial because of heat losses or gains. A refrigerator with better insulating properties tends to retain low temperatures. This reduces drastic heat transfer to the surroundings. A refrigerator with not too good insulation tends to gain heat rapidly. This basically increases the internal temperature of the refrigerator faster, such that the fridge won't be able to stay cool for a while. So, what kind of insulation do you have? Is it thick enough to reduce heat transfer? 2. How many hours did your refrigerator run before the power outage? You may be thinking this question is a tad bit unnecessary, but you may be wrong. Estimating the number of hours that your refrigerator ran for before the outage can determine so many things. On the bright side, it helps you to know whether your perishables are already going bad. It also helps you to have a rough idea of what the temperature should be. If it's working optimally, the lowest temperature a refrigerator should operate is about 1 to 3 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, if you don't have one already, consider getting a thermometer for your fridge to be sure that you have an accurate knowledge of the temperature in it. So, if a refrigerator is left to run for a few hours at a stretch, the lowest temperature can be achieved. This depends on the performance of the refrigerator. But if it wasn't running for so long, the lowest temperature may have not been achieved. And this means that the refrigerator may lose its coolness faster. 3. How filled up is your refrigerator? Is your refrigerator filled to the brim with foodstuffs and other perishables, or is it just about half full? A lot of people propose that when a refrigerator is filled up, there's a greater chance of it staying cold for a longer time. On the other hand, if a refrigerator is half filled, it may not be able to stay cool for a very long time. So, this is another factor to take note of to know how long a refrigerator will stay cold without power. 4. How often do you open the refrigerator? Assuming that your refrigerator attained the lowest temperature possible before the power outage. It should probably be at about 1 to 3 degrees Celsius. This is a good range for food and other perishables to remain fresh. However, opening the door of the refrigerator frequently lets warm air in from the atmosphere. The warm air which comes into the refrigerator will replace the cool air and warm up the fridge after a while. So, if you open your refrigerator too many times during a power outage, then your foods may be at risk. This is because the chances of it staying cold for a long period of time get slimmer. This is why it is advisable to keep the refrigerator shut when it loses power so that it can retain its coldness for a while. We've established that a refrigerator can stay cold for about 4 to 6 hours even after a power outage. This depends greatly on these factors. Proper insulation. How long your refrigerator worked. How filled your refrigerator. Is opening and closing the refrigerator. We hope you found value in this video if you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Also, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details. Visit our site refrigeratorsreview.com for more refrigerator tips like this.